Hi everyone, welcome back to my craft room. If you're new to my craft room, then welcome. Happy Tuesday, guys. I have a Dollar Tree haul here. I have some really cute things I found. I get so excited with these new Christmas things coming out. <laughs> but anyway, um, hope everybody's having a wonderful day. I'm gonna start here, cause you know, my husband's with me. We got some goodies from the food aisle. Um, this was his pick here that he likes to take these to work with him. So we got him some more of the original potato sticks. Um, like I said, he takes these to work. He likes to sit like when he's watching football and stuff and munch on these and whatever. So we grabbed some more of those. Those are our favorites. Um, I did grab another pack of the buttery home style mashed potatoes. These are really good. I used to get these at the grocery store and say all the time, but I just get them at Dollar Tree now because they're pretty much the same price everywhere. Um, but these are great just for, you know, when you need something quick and in a hurry. I like real mashed potatoes. I could eat real mashed potatoes every day in my life. But, you know, sometimes we just grab one of those rotisserie chickens or something for a quick dinner when we're busy. Cook up one of these. It takes like five minutes, and there you go. Throw a veggie in the microwave, and you got dinner. This, too, um, I got another one of these, the cheeseburger uh, hamburger helper. Again, it used to be cheaper at the grocery store when they were on sale 10 for 10 but that really doesn't happen very much anymore so I grabbed one of those while I was there my husband picked out these he likes these eucalyptus menthol cough drops <clears throat> so we got those you know winter's coming stocking up on all the good stuff um, and also he picked this isn't food related whatsoever I grabbed these bags here thinking it was but these are mothballs he got two packs of these. He likes to stick these in his toolbox that he keeps up in the uh, carport because otherwise mice get in there and want to build nests. So he throws a bunch of mothballs in there and they stay away. And I can't stand the smell of mothballs. Um, reminds me of my aunt's house many, many years ago. Oh, so gross. For a while, smelled like mothballs. <laughs> so he got two packs of those while we were there. Just to keep, actually, I'm going to move these somewhere else because I don't even want to smell them. really can't smell them through the bag, but I'm moving them anyway because I don't like them. And then these were also his picks. This was my pick. Sorry, I'm lying. I picked out the Mr. Good Bars with the peanuts in them because that is my one of my favorite little candy bars to snack on. And I like having these little bars because I can just eat one of those and not feel so bad about myself. <laughs> Try to eat only one of them a day right now, so... We'll see. And this is what he picked out. He picked out the Twix. What did he get in there? He gets six of the fun size Twix bars. So that was his pick of candy this week. And then he also picked up this um, micro USB cable to charge his little tablet and things with. And I don't know if he uses it. Does it fit on his phone? I don't know. I have an Apple phone. He does not. I don't know what he has. forget what he has. It might be for his phone too. But they don't last very long for some reason, which I never understood about cable wires, how they wear out, but they do. I guess just from plugging them in and out all the time. Maybe that's what the issue is. But anyway, for $1.25, you can't really go wrong on a charging cable. All right, I'm going to start here now with some of the good stuff. And these are my plus section find of the week. I'm like trying to limit myself here because, oh... Man, the cute stuff that is coming. Sorry, I'm pulling some glue webs off of these little cuties. Look at this cutie. Look how cute this is. It's got a little, well, it looks like it's got a skateboard, but I've got, I'm thinking it's supposed to be for skiing there or whatever. But look how cute that face is. These are just made so cute. They're like a little overkill on the hot glue, but they're really, really, really cute. It's got some holly leaves and berries on her head. This is the little girl. She's got an, her cute little dress on and then her little boots. Look at the detail on the boots even. They're like lace, little laces there. And then there's a pretty um, silver trim all the way, but holy glue webs. <laughs> Looks like I made it <laughs> with all the glue webs. But yeah, it's really cute. And look at the little jacket. And these were $5.00. That's why I said, so I got a limit to what I get from the plus section, but I am little by little picking up these cutesy things. But yeah, holy glue webs on these guys. All right, so that is the little girl. We're going to set her over here, and here is the little boy, and he has a bucket of snowballs. And look at his cute face. When they're in the package, you'll notice they're... Their um, noses are really bent stupid, but they, they straighten right out. 
and you can do whatever you want with those little noses. So don't be deterred just because the nose looks all weird because they do straighten out very nicely. But he's got some little pine on his head and some berries. But look at the face. The faces are just, they're absolutely gorgeous. I love these so much. They stand up nice. He's got his little pants tucked into his boots here. He's got some silver trim too. And he's got a nice like cable sweater. He's holding a snowball here, which I'm going to glue that up more because there is so much glue showing. I think it was glued up and probably in travel, you know, it probably got came down. But yeah, I got to fix his little snowball there. I might actually just disconnect it from his hand and fix it because it just needs to go up a little bit and cover up that big blop of glue. But other than that, he's got little gray mittens too. I didn't even notice that. She has green mittens. He has gray mittens. But how darn cute are these guys? I mean, oh my goodness. I love snowmen. You guys know my, if you watch my daughter's channel, she absolutely loves her snowmen. So she better not try to steal my snowman. <laughs> oh, you're our face in that way. There we go. All right, but that was my plus section purchase of this week here. Well, I'm going back again before Friday, so we'll see what happens there. All right, now the rest of this stuff is $1.25 stuff. I did pick up the chair cushions. I got three of them for out in my kitchen. I have four chairs for my kitchen, but we always have it pushed up towards the window, and the other chair is actually here in my craft room. I only bring that out if anybody's going to be here, which I probably should pick up another one of these because it, it is the season. So, yeah, aren't they cute? And they're not real thick padded or anything. They're just for decoration for this season. But I thought that would be cute out in my kitchen. So I have my curtains. I can't wait to put up my curtains, my um, balances that I got from Timu that have the Christmas trees on them. So I got three of those. I'm going to set these aside because they're going to take up too much room. All right, you guys sit over there. And then I picked up some of these pretty, pretty boxes. I love these gift boxes. They're nice, heavy, sturdy. Because you know those ones you get in the packages you get to open up? They're real flimsy and they're a pain in the neck. These you don't even have to wrap. You just throw a bow around here or something and a little sticker on there and there you go. Because these boxes are just gorgeous. Even on the inside. I mean, look at that. These are just made so well. So I picked up a couple in this size. I'll probably pick up a few more here and there. But the big sizes seem to disappear first. So... Um, look, that's got like a wood grain on the back. So I got the big ones. So I got that one with the joy on it. And of course, I had to get one with this tree and this little barn on it. It's not the red truck, but it's a red car. Just as cute. And this one's done all the way around. But look inside. Even on the sides on the inside are done on these boxes. I'm just amazed at how nice these. I know it's just a box, you know. But look how nice this is. They are just so, my chair is squeaking here. There we go. Love it, love it, love it. I don't know how big are, let's see. I didn't even tell you how big these are. Does it say before I have to measure here? Nope. So these are about 10 and a half inches by, if I hold my roller straight, seven and a half, seven and a quarter inches. And they are, let's see how deep these are here. They're not real deep, but. Let's just stick it in there. A little over two inches, just a hair over two inches. So you could put all kinds of cutesy things in there. Even if you want to store some of your craft items in there for the next year and put them away. Then I did get this towel. I got me one towel. Um, so I have these hanging all over. I'm waiting to see what other ones come out. This was the only one I saw this time. And this one just says Merry Christmas on it. It has a cute little wagon. That'll be nice because I have I hang one over my stove hand oven handle, and then I have one of those little um, towel racks that fit on your drawer that I hang another one on by my sink, and they just look so cute. I don't use them; I just hang them there for decoration. So, got that. What else did we get new and cutesy here? Oh, these signs! I picked up two of these signs. I thought these were really nice. This one is a Santa here. It just says Mary on it. Merry Christmas on his hat. But look how nice that is. And it has like, you know, the raised pieces, which makes all the difference in the world with these signs instead of just being a flat painted whatever. So yeah, I thought he was so cute. 
and I just love it. I love the faces on these. I love the way the prints are so nice and clear. So I got that one, and then of course I had to get the snowman, and that one's got a little like galvanized looking. No, it is actually a metal, it's not paper, a metal snowflake. It says let it snow, but the painting and the faces are just so nice. So you could even make these, you know, put something behind there and make them stand up if you wanted to. You don't have to hang all this stuff everywhere. And then let's see, okay, some necessities that I did get. This I thought was awesome. I've never seen this in my Dollar Tree before. This is a sanding block with a sanding block holder here. And I'm assuming that you can replace these. And man, what a great idea this is because I'll tell you what, my fingers get so dry and so rough, you know, using my sanding blocks on different things. And I've been doing a lot of trying to get some of my woodwork painting little by little. It's getting there. Um, but right now I can't really do it because I have to have the windows open with my parrots. I have to have them all open, have them somewhere else because I still worry, even though I get the low odor and everything else kind of paint that I need to get to do around them. Um, but anyway, I get sidetracked so easy. Anyway, I thought this was great to have this... Um, little sanding block holder in here. Don't know well how well it holds, but I'm hoping it works great because, man, that'll save my rough little fingers. I had to get down in that hardware department because I had to find, and I'm so glad I did, I found a whole bunch more, I hope these are long enough, um, of the zip ties that we're going to put up our Christmas stuff outside with. So much easier. Just zip it on, cut them off when you're done. Um, I'm hoping... These may not fit around that fence post. I may have to still find the bigger ones. But these will work like on my tree and stuff that I'm putting things on. Mm, these might not be quite long enough. Now that I'm sitting here thinking about it, mm, I don't think it will be. I may have to find the longer ones. Anyway, I'm sure it will come in handy. You get 25 in there. I bought three packs, but I think they may be a little short. We'll see. I'll have to go outside and measure one of them. But anyway, can't go wrong with the zip ties. Uh, at least I got 75 zip ties. Hopefully they will fit. And then I bought another pack of the electrical tape because, you know, wherever we have the extension cords plugged in, we just wrap and wrap and wrap and wrap and cover all those connections up for the holiday season so you know nothing gets wet in there and i use a ton of this stuff so i figure i better pick up another pack you get two rolls they go a long long way too so i've used those for years i don't see any difference between these and any other tape that i've gotten anywhere else then i also picked up some sandpaper because i was running low on that um, this is a 36 piece set and it has all different grit things this one's like the 150 i don't know what all is in here i don't think it says does it Oh, yeah, it does. They, there are two 80, two 240s, two 400s, 1080. I forgot, I can't even see that. Anyway, maybe you guys can see it because it'll blow up on your screen. But I, it has the sizes and things right up in there somewhere. But anyway, <clears throat> that lasts me a good long time. I think the last one I bought I've for in my craft room here I've had for a couple of years. And then I got one of these foam rings here. What are they calling this? Just floral foam. Um, these are always fun to do something with, make a nice little wreath with, or whatever you want to make with it. So I just picked up one. I had an idea in my head. It's gone. I don't know what it was. I need to make, like, I need to carry a notepad everywhere I go anymore because I'll see things when I'm going through the Dollar Tree. And I think, oh, I know what I could make with that. And then I get home, and it's like, I don't know what I was going to make with that, so <laughs> I really need to carry a notepad or a recorder or make a note on my phone, something. But anyway, this is a 9.8 inch floral foam ring, and then I picked up another one of these. This is the floral foam, and this is 2.9 by 3.9 by 3.9, and I use this a lot in my um, different centerpieces and craft things I do to decorate up. So. I needed another one of those. I don't think I had any of those left. I have some white ones, but I wanted the green ones. Um, so, yeah. Now, these I thought were really cute. I want to get that little tree together. I still haven't gotten that tree together. I was going to show you guys, but I haven't even had the time to um, get it together. But anyway, these are so cute. These are like little wooden tags. They all have little bells on them and little bows. Aren't they cute? 
And I don't have a lot of small decorations to hang on my little tree here. Most of my decorations that I have on my tree are, they're kind of, a lot of them are big. They're big stuff, things, and all kinds of stuff. But, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I wanted to get some of these smaller ones, and I thought those were really nice. And you get six of those in there. Some of them say Joy, Peace, and Mary on them. Yeah, and they're wood. They're little wood ornaments. Now, these are tin, and I thought these were adorable, too. These are all gingerbread men and ladies. Aren't they nice? What do they have on the back? It just has, like, these um, red and white string, like the baker's twine to hang them with but look how cute they are the glare is awful trying to show these in here and my camera wants to show up in there and everything but yeah they're really really cute i love those i've never seen them, those before so they're definitely new this year um let's have a lot of the same old same old stuff like these guys here but i do have an idea of what i wanted to do with these little guys it's still in my brain probably should write it down here on my table <laughs> <laughs> now, I know exactly what I'm doing with these guys, and hopefully I'll get that done in the next craft video or so. But you get this set of two of these really pretty white, of course, sparkling deer. But I love their antlers. They're very fancy, fancy antlers. So, yeah. So where's that other thing I was using for this? Oh, I can't reach it right now. But anyway, I'll put it back here for now. Hopefully I don't forget where they are. Um, I did grab some more wrapping paper. Um, they do, in the plus section, have a huge, and I didn't do the math on it. I, there's like 24 sheets in this one. There's 10 sheets in this one. And they had one that had, I want to say, 100 sheets for $5, which really isn't that great of a bargain if this one has 24, unless they're really pretty designs on it or something but anyway i already had these in my cart so i didn't even want to think about it at the moment i'll have to figure that out next time i go i don't remember how many it said i want to say it was 100 sheets but anyway you get 10 in here it was pretty red with the silver specks on it so i got a pack of that and i just got a pack of can't go wrong with just the red and the green and this is a 24 pack and i think i have still have some in there from last year so i should be all set Oh, I use a lot of tissue paper because gift bags anymore is the way to go, which I almost wish I hadn't started because I have so much wrapping paper that I stocked up on last year after Christmas. Um, I always go to Walmart after Christmas to pick up all the stuff at 50% off. And um, I have a bunch. I just noticed I have a lot in there, so I really need to wrap stuff this year. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll have some tissue paper and some wrap and some whatever. But anyway, I got some of this pretty gift ribbon, um, the curling ribbon. And uh, these are all pretty. You get gold, silver, red, green, and blue. So I don't use a ton of this stuff either. I always have good intentions to like really do up the presents, but you know. So this will probably be plenty. And then I did pick up these two picture frames because I have an idea for these two for a DIY. And uh, so, yeah, these are just two 5 by 7 frames that I'm going to DIY with. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to paint these. I like the gray color. I may just leave it gray. We'll see. We'll have to see once it starts coming together here. But, yeah, I picked up two of these. And uh, that is what I got at this trip to the Dollar Tree. So I'm going to put all this stuff away. I will go get little P and bring him in for his visit, and I'll be right back. All right, here comes my little brat boy. Go come in. Now what? Oh, I know there's something different. Oh, my goodness. Somebody asked me the other day why it would bother him. Anything different bothers these birds. It's this, it's this picture frame that I put here with this snowman. Going to have to move that for now. There, is that better? We'll move your frog back here. This stuff he's so used to, and when I do anything different, there, is that better? Okay, problem solved. Maybe this little guy here too, we'll move him out of the way too, because I haven't gotten any of these little things put away. But say hi to everybody. Yeah, tell them I'm a weirdo. I don't like try. no, I won't move the light. Sorry, I was going to fix the light on you. You got blooper raspberry on your feathers here. I got you a piece of yucca wood. You haven't had that in a while. Do you want to play with a piece of yucca wood? Let's see. What do you think? 
I don't know what happened. You used to have such a love for yucca wood and it's gone. <laughs> he doesn't want anything to do with it. I have your other piece of wood here from last time that you never finished destroying. You want to destroy that? No. Is there something else in here that's bugging you? I'm trying to look around. It could be anything. It could be these little snow people here in this, my basket next to me. Are they bothering you? Hmm? What's bothering you, P? Everybody wants to know. What's your problem? Hmm? Do you want to talk about it? No. All right. So we don't want this. You love this. Are you mad because I didn't bring you another pea? You can't have peanuts all the time. Maybe Friday I'll bring in a peanut. Look, I got glitter all over me. Friday we'll bring in a peanut. Yeah. You want this? No? No? Yucca? Seriously, you don't want your yucca wood. Wow. All right. Where'd the sun go, Pete? It was nice and sunny here with a cloud going over. Uh, is that making you nervous, too, because it got dark real quick out there? I don't think it's supposed to rain or anything. It's just a cloud passing. You'll be fine. I don't know, you're all shaky. What do you see? What's over here that's bothering you? I don't know. Yeah, these guys are so sensitive to any kind of change. Um, if we bring in a box from outside, you know, that gets delivered or something, and set it on the counter, they will not go in that kitchen. They freak out over anything different, huh? Yeah. So we gotta change things up very slowly around here when we're doing something. Cut on your foot. Ew. Berries. You got berries everywhere. You look like you're bleeding to death. What is that? Pomegranate? <laughs> is that what's on your chest too? Why are you being so grumpy? Nobody wants to see a grumpy little pig. You really don't want any of this stuff? He's probably looking at this thing. No, I already chewed that one. I don't want it. I bet if I did, I don't know where the other package is. Um, I put it, Pete. It was right here. Do you want some of this millet? I left this in here. <laughs> you know, if I put that on his cage out there, he would probably shred this. It's millet. It's just all little tiny seeds on there. And if it was out there, he would probably be tearing this up but not in here. We don't do that in here, right? What did I, I'm just curious. I want to see if you would take one that was brand new, but uh, hang on, let me stand up here. I'm not going anywhere, so don't freak out, little pig. Um, oh, here it is. Let me see, just if you're just a snob with your wood that's already been chewed. There's a fresh one. Do you want this one? Oh no, you're just in a mood. You've lost the will to shred. Oh my goodness. I know the dogs are barking out there. I don't know what's out there. It's probably just a squirrel. My neighbors are still doing construction over there, so I had to kind of wait until there was a break in the jackhammering um, of the concrete over there. Yeah. So it's a little later than normal that we're videoing this, huh? Yeah, I am doing this video the day before, actually, because, like always, it's back to doctor's appointments on Tuesday. So I figured I'd film this Monday afternoon, but it's late. Um, but it's not getting dark. Well, it is 4 o'clock. That's right. It does get dark early now. I'm forgetting. Yeah, we got doctor's appointment tomorrow, and it's in the middle of, it's like 10.30 in the morning, which means... By the time we get there and actually see the doctor, probably by 11.15, because <laughs> our appointment's at 10.30. Between 11.15 11 and 11.30, we'll probably end up seeing the doctor, because that's how it usually goes there. But, whatever. I figured by the time we got done with that, it would be just way too late to do anything else. Huh. What do you think? It is getting dark already. 
Mama didn't realize what time it was and I didn't realize. I forgot about the time change. Yep. All right, well, we're gonna let everybody go, P. Because you are no fun this time of day. It's almost getting time for you guys to settle down and, well, not quite. Six o'clock he goes to bed. Yeah. So I gotta go to bed at six o'clock. Yes, I do. Yes, I do, because I am ready to go to sleep. I don't want nobody else bothering me. I just want to get covered up and go night-night. Yeah. All right, everybody. We're going to let you guys go. But thanks so much for watching, and we will see you guys all next time. Have a great day, everyone. Say bye-bye, P.